Hi guys, this is Tiffany. Hey guys, this is Derek's. Welcome to To Love Puerto Rico. Yes, we are back again on a late night video and we have been struggling, you know, with different things, with topics and yeah. ideas and all of these. Yeah. Derek's always think he has the best ideas. You know, <laughs> honestly, I do. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just kidding. right. No, I honestly don't think that. I, I really believe that Tip has. She's the most creative and uh, when it comes to that, but we, we work it out together. But you know, yeah. it don't always go smooth, no. I can tell you that. Marriage, marriage, marriage. It ain't for the week. Kids, marriage. It ain't for the week. You I'm know, you got you know, you gotta really know this what you wanna do. You know, then you gonna throw we throw this YouTube video in the midst of Right in the middle. Right, right. in the middle. And that means we have to communicate. We have to talk. You know, we talk. It ain't just like communicate. It's how we communicate yeah. with each other. That's true. And bringing it together, you know. That's but true. what's the topic of the day? Yeah, that's, that's the question. We've been going back and forth for the last little bit. But I'm thankful that I'm here sitting on this blue couch. Velvet, it's beautiful. What is I'm it? hoping Velvet. that all of you made it through last week and you're here today and can say that you're thankful today yeah. on this Thursday. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up that just giving thanks because, you know, yesterday was my birthday, you know, we ain't gonna throw that in there. No. But, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold up a second. But keep your thoughts. Keep your thoughts. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's smooth. Okay. Smooth butter. He finna go to my idea that I've been trying to talk about for about 10 takes. But I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let no, him. I'm gonna let him. Go ahead. I really want the only thing I was just gonna, since you brought up being thankful, the only thing I was just gonna say is no. I was thankful, like, for my birthday. I was thankful for how it turned out. And I know that she is a significant portion of why it was, my birthday was different this year. So I was just gonna just like chime in on her topic of giving thanks. Yeah. I'm thankful for my birthday and thankful for my wife making it like a, a tad out, like a, like a boom. Yeah. It was, it was good. It was good. Real, it was real, good. Real. And I just got to eat me some cake. And we got to start eating that cake. We got to eat that Man, cake we, up tonight. Honestly, we should throw that cake I think off last, the balcony. Last to be video, honest. Last video, we talked about the cookies. Now that this week, we got oh. cake. <laughs> Don't get the wrong impression now because we talked about sweets two weeks in a row. Yeah. But I think we need to throw the rest of that cake yeah. over the balcony. Yeah, but guys, I think, you know, we've been talking about different things. You know, we've been talking about... Um, First, being thankful, Thanksgiving. I think that's one thing that we're going to always remember to come with a heart of Thanksgiving. I think even since we started doing our, our, we have two prayer moment videos where you see me try to do a little dancing and come on. Derek's praying. Come on, you dance, ain't no little dancing. But even in our prayer nights on Friday, we always want to come in with a heart of thanksgiving yeah, and always thanks. giving thanks. The big, the little, the points of struggle, the highs and lows, yeah. we just give them thanks for it all. Yeah, because thanks tonight, I, you know, honestly, this is a struggle for me and I still say, God, I thank you for tonight. Yeah. You know, this moment. when my husband, <laughs> But, but not just that, you know, that's just, you know, a little bit of a joke, but I'm still thankful, you know, with everything, you got to find those times in your life and in those, in those busy days and say, okay, God, I just look to you. No, I agree. I mean, it, you have to, 
Because I think sometimes even with giving thanks, we, we give thanks for stuff that may seem big or something that seems like it's significant. But sometimes you can't find those moments or there's like a big gap between those. But God wants us to give thanks for just all the little tangible things that doesn't always seem significant. And, you know, we're learning that, you know, we're learning that process and trying to teach our family, our kids that. Yeah. So, you know. So tonight, to love Puerto Rico. And honestly, that's something else to give thanks for. Yeah. To be but honest. I was going to say, what is to love Puerto Rico? And I think we, we even said, what does... What's fresh in our heart tonight, you know, for to love Puerto Rico, you know, uh, what is it? And I think that's been the point that we've been trying to figure out tonight. Yeah. To, to actually, just to, to dive into that, you know, we've talked about a lot of things, talk about people and stuff like that, but. You know, you touched on something earlier about, you know, I'm giving you like total kudos, credit for this. You were talking about being thankful even for like sons and daughters or whatever. You know, our natural, but even those spiritual sons and daughters that God is bringing or is gonna bring and things like that. and. You know, well, I guess I was just thinking, you know, just practically, you know, we're parents right. and it's hard parenting our kids. It's hard uh, <laughs> giving advice and trying to figure out how to help them. And then I say, OK, God, but you're calling us to be mothers and fathers and to be there for others and to help and to, you know, to love and to. You know, all these different things when you, you say you're called to step outside of yourself and say, okay, God, I serve you. And I, as I'm serving you, I want to serve, serve others. others. Yeah. So that's a pulling on your heart that, okay, you have to give <laughs> your heart to God because only he can do it. Because it's so much like you should feel like in life you pull in so many different ways. How can yeah. I give this piece here? How can I give this piece there? But it's not pieces that you're giving, it's your whole heart that you're giving because when you give God your whole heart, he allows you to be able to give to others, to be yeah. mothers and fathers. To have more than enough, more than enough to give to, to others. give to others. And I think that's, you know, tonight. Sometimes it can be scary a little bit too, yeah. or whatever. But I feel like, you know, as I look at it, you know, it's, we're, we're doing it already. You know, we had a, had dinner with a couple the other night, yeah. a young couple. They were about to have their first baby, and we were like, you know, speaking life into them and giving them some like real deal, <laughs> like you're gonna be up in the middle of the night, that type well, stuff. And I wish I could give, I'm stuff. sorry, dear. I yeah. wish I could give them a, few, a full view of you right now because Derek is in his pose as a a, a mature man. <laughs> I know you about to say, "Oh man!" I know. I I'm like, mature. I got, I got like that that all the way grown oh, man, man sit, sit, sitting right now. His legs crossed at the knee. At the knee, yeah. Hand like, oh, folded. Man. He's like, man, I'm grown man grown style. Grown man style. For real. But that you know, I just I just had. To. Wait a I was like, oh man, we we not over here yet. We, no, no, we, we ain't old. We, we, we right there in we it. Right, we, we right there in it. Right there. We, we right there in it. So, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it was out. No, no, it's it was good. good. That's, that's, that's the real no, deal. Man, but he got it. He I got mean, it. That's, that's that fatherhood coming in. It's coming in. Yeah. It's coming out. You know? But I guess as we sit, we still. You know, we don't want these videos to be long, but I guess the main thing I see for, you know, to love Puerto Rico. And I just, as we say that, you know, about fathers and mothers, I know there's so many on that island. There's so many generations there. There's so many mothers that that have been forgotten. There's so many fathers that have been forgotten. There are young ones and there are old ones, yeah, yeah. you know, that sons and daughters, sons and daughters too. that need to be awakened and say, need a mother, you're, need a you're father. loved. 
You are called by God. This is what he, this is what he this said is to who, you. This is who you are. You know, and, speak identity. Yeah. Speak and, life into yeah, yeah. those that just don't know. Don't know. Yeah. You know, and we've been even, That's exciting. Yeah, and we've honest. even been talking about Mississippi, you know, yeah. talking about, you know, that's one of our prayer places too. You know, we're moving to Puerto Rico, but Don't Mississippi, get it twisted. <laughs> but we Mississippi, are moving to Puerto Rico. yeah, but Mississippi is on the way. I mean, we're that's going to be a highlight of prayer. Yes, for real. For us, yeah, yeah, we're excited about that as well. There's some awesome, awesome people in in Mississippi. Yeah. That's our home. Of course, we're biased because that is our home. But you know, there is something. That God wants to do this. So, Jerry, well. tell what is the one thing that you love about Mississippi? You know, the one thing that I can say I love about Mississippi is the it's it's the people, but not just the people. It's just when you're from a place where it's smaller, people have this this like welcoming you know, family, like everybody know everybody. You walk down the street, everyone speak to you and stuff like that. And it's just that that warm environment, even in people's like brokenness, even when people don't have it all together, there's something that you can feel, you know, from people in, in Mississippi. So, you know, that's and my I, heart. And I guess I can say the same thing. If I was to ask myself, what's the one thing that I, love about Puerto Rico is the people. So that's yeah. our first tie together of the two places of Puerto Rico and Mississippi, because even in Puerto Rico, I when I first visited there, I felt like I was a part of a family. I felt like I was a part of people that I had never knew, but I felt like I had been there for years. Like I've known them, like my mom and my dad. And I, you yeah. know, I've never had that before. Unless I went home to Mississippi where I can walk down the street and I go to a corner store and I can yeah, know right. somebody. I go to Walmart, you go to Walmart, I still. That's the mall. You don't, you see, don't know everybody. You everybody. You don't see everybody. You don't see everybody. But that's where Puerto Rico is. And it's such a place where you feel the heart of people and of family and of love. So in those two places of Puerto Rico and Mississippi where I think that's our prayer tonight of just saying we are so thankful that God has yeah. given us two places. Even though they might feel like they're behind or forgotten, right. but they're two places that have richness yep. of people. Yep, I, I totally agree. And it's those it's I believe it's those similarities that God drew our heart to both, you know, even though they're completely different in a lot of other ways, you know, other side of the world, yeah. language difference, food Only difference. Only Mississippi don't have those beaches, man. We Mississippi close there. But this is some beaches somewhere, uh, down some on water. The, yeah, down on the, the Gulf. on the Gulf. But, yeah, you know, but it ain't like, now that's yeah. the only thing. But we gonna talk about some more things. Yeah, we'll we, uh, we, 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 we yeah, get y'all some more stuff. We'll get y'all some more stuff. But, you know, this has been good tonight. Yeah, but guys, I think yeah. our main thing we want to say, being thankful. Been but thankful. we speak in life in support of Rico. Rico and to Mississippi. Mississippi. Life, blessings. life, life, blessings. Love, love of God. The mercy. The peace and, and, of God. Uh, the grace of God. Yes, yeah, the hand of God. The favor. Um, even wisdom on, 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 on the people and those that are in leadership and in the body of Christ. And so. Everything that has been spoken that has been condemning or that's yeah. been words that's been spoken of, 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 give me a word. Yeah, yeah just yes. words of that were just totally opposite of than what, what God, God wants. wants yes. Yeah, so we just say, Go back to where it came from, and we just speak the blessings and, and favor. Sons and daughters will arise, will arise yeah. and they will come alive, to and we'll know, know their place, know their, their place. place. And there is hope. Yeah, there is. As long as yeah, our hope being in Jesus, mm -hmm. there's always hope. There's right. never a moment that it's not. Yes, this is Tiffany and Derek's, and we are to love for Rico, but tonight we just want to get yeah, I love Tiffany. Oh, yeah.
we working on it. We working on it. Dubby dubby. Yeah, I wish I could show y'all our whole hour, you know, before trying to work things out. <laughs> you know, it ain't how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. So, so we that, love you guys. Love you guys. Till next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.